Hello, today we're going to show you how to submit forms online through the student support portal. Uh, when you come to the forms and documents page, either from the college website or my SDCCD, uh, one of the first things you want to make sure you have is the latest version of Adobe Reader. If you do not, you can go ahead and click on this link to download from the Adobe website and install it onto your computer. Uh, if you scroll down, you have our step-by-step -step instructions, as well as the video walkthrough that you're watching right now. And then at the bottom here, you will have all the list of all the forms that can be submitted and which office it should be submitted to. So in this case, if we look at the consent to release student records form, that's turned into the admissions office. So uh, once you do have Adobe installed, go ahead and click on the form you wish to submit. It's going to open it up into a new tab. Uh, you do not want to fill it out here. You want actually want to fill it out in Adobe Reader itself, and you can either do that by downloading the form by clicking on this down arrow in your browser, or uh, in Chrome at least, you can click on Open in Acrobat and it'll open Acrobat uh, and open the form there. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and close that and open it up in Adobe Reader. So now you'll be able to see the form here. Uh, go ahead and fill it in. Uh, one of the things you want to make sure is you read all the directions on the form and fill in the required fields. I'm not going to fill in the entire thing just for demonstration purposes. Uh, but once you do fill in everything and read the directions, uh, most forms will require you to sign and date it. In another training video, I will walk you through how to create your own digital signature. Uh, but just keep in mind that once you do sign the form and save it, it's going to go ahead and lock the form for further edits. So I'm going to go ahead and save this to my computer. Now you want to go back to the uh, web page. And right underneath the forms, you have this button that says Submit Form Online. And that will take you to the student support portal. Once here, you're going to go ahead and want to put in your student information. Indicate the college you are submitting the form to. Put in your email address. Uh, then you want to select which office you are submitting the form to. So this particular form we're submitting to the admissions and records office. And then you will select the form that you just filled out. Uh, from here, what you want to do is you want to go to your computer now. And what you're going to do is you're going to drag and drop the form into the form and petition uh, box here. Uh, if you do have any additional documentation, like an official transcript or a doctor's note, you can all go ahead and drag and drop it into the uh, folder there as well. So as you can see now, I have two documents here. Uh, if you can, you could also click on Browse and then pick the file or files that way. We're going to go ahead and put in a comment. And then finally, you're going to type in your full name uh, to indicate that you are given us authorization to process the form and that you've read all the terms and conditions as stated on the form. And then finally, click Send. Uh, once it processes, you'll get a confirmation number and then you'll receive an email from us uh, with a link to the uh, form that you submitted as well as a link to the student support portal so you could check the status of the form uh, as it's going through the process. Uh, that's about it. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to contact us at the support desk. Uh, otherwise, uh, thank you so much.